Hey girls, it's Katie, and today we're gonna burn serious calories without even leaving your desk. So whether you're just going back to school or you spend a lot of time at your desk in an office, these exercises are gonna be so good for you, and a lot of them you can do even when other people are around. It's a low impact workout. We're gonna work the abs, the booty, the legs, everything. I know you're gonna do this workout with me. Comment below and tell me where you're gonna do it, at school, at work, or just at home. So if you're ready to get started, sweat that thumbs up, give it a little click, and let's go. We spend so much time sitting every single day, whether you're working all day or at school, so you're like slumped over your desk, your core gets lazy, and your posture weakens. So this workout is really good because it's gonna help strengthen that core especially and work on that posture, and when you're done with it, go check out my perfect posture video because that'll really help too. The most important thing you can do always always, 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 is vacuum. I talk about it all the time, but vacuuming is that idea of contracting your ab muscles, so drawing the belly button in toward the spine and up the back. Imagine someone's like punching you in the gut, or think of a sponge being wrung out and all that water coming. So I'm doing it right now. I can still breathe, I can still talk. It's different than sucking in your stomach. So just contract the muscles, continue to breathe, and you're gonna really see that core strengthen. All right, now that those abs are locked in, let's start with the first move. So I want you to bring your booty to the end of your chair, and if you're at a desk, you're not gonna be able to lift your knees quite as high, but you're still gonna get that core working. So lean back slightly, just like you're like, just hanging out in class, no big deal. And all you're gonna do is we're gonna do 20 alternating knee raises, just right here. But I want you to focus on that area right above your pant line and your belly button. That's what I want you to squeeze. Good. Keep it going. We're halfway there. Just little dancer kicks. Let's do five more. Four, three, two, and one. Now we're gonna bring this into a crunch. So you're gonna have to maybe lean back a little bit more, lift the legs together, and tap them down. Think of that crunching motion. Little ball, good. We have 16. Good, 10 more. Exhale as you lift. You got this. All right, five, four, three, two, and squeeze it out the top and shake it out, let it go. Next we have tricep dips. So these are gonna be a little bit harder if you're in public, like in a classroom. But if you have your own office, you can totally do them or if you're doing homework. But if you're in a rolling chair, don't do this, please. Only like a regular chair. So bring your feet out, keep your hips by your chair. Hands are gonna press into the chair. You're gonna lower so your elbows bend to 90. Booty almost touches the ground and press up. We have 16 together. Let's go down and up. Exhale as you come up. If this is too much here too, you can always bend the knees. Good, but try to work toward those straight legs. Halfway there. Seven, six, five, four more. Three, two, and hold it at the top. Now we're gonna do 16 little hip raises. So all you're gonna do is keep your arms straight, lift your hips, squeeze your booty nice and tight, and just relax them down. Go up and down. Good, you're already gonna feel that heart rate coming up. Squeeze. Nice, 10. Halfway there. Gaze it straight up for five, four, three, two, and squeeze, 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 let it go. Next, we're gonna do a booty lift, which is really gonna strengthen that core and really your entire body. So sit your booty all the way back in your chair Bring your hands to the edge. Then I want you to lean forward and push into your chair with your hands to lift your hips and legs off the floor. Ah. Okay, got it, we're gonna hold it for 30 seconds. Ready, let's lift it up and hold. Squeeze everything as tight as you possibly can. Pull the shoulders away from the ears. Your whole body should start shaking soon, like ah. And if you need to take a break in between, take it. Otherwise, just breathe and smile and squeeze. Ah. We're halfway there, yep, lift it up. Up. You're like, just, you know, hanging out, no big deal. Literally shaking, trembling, it's good, it's good. Push it, five, four, three, two, one, and let it go. So similar to that isometric hold, but this time we're gonna take it into a squat, and this is good because you can do it like stealth. No one will really notice. Bring your weight into your heels. I want you to come to stand just slightly. So just lift your booty off the chair. You are probably like barely feeling this, so what I want you to do is get lower. 
Lower, 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 and hold. Just to that point where you're almost touching and it like feels like it'd be such a sweet release to actually sit down, but I'm not gonna let you. So you're just gonna hold it here, lift up an inch and down an inch. We have 20. Good. It's just tiny. Little squeezes, tiny pulses, and we're gonna hold it. Good. Up and down. All the weight is in those heels. Let's do 10 more. Nine, eight, seven, six, five. Squeeze that belly in. Three, two, now hold, hold, hold. Sit that booty back and down a little bit more. Don't sit in the chair. You got this, ready? Let's hold for 10, nine, eight, seven, six. You can even sit up a little bit more and type at your desk. Oh, three, two, and one, let it go. Our last move is gonna work the chest, help lift the girls, which who doesn't like that? And we're gonna turn around for some push-ups at our chair. So hands are just gonna come on the side. You can either have flat palms. I like to grip the sides of the chair, but it really just depends on the chair you're using. Or you can always use a desk or a wall as well. So from here, step back in the plank position. Heels press back. I want you to lower your chest to the chair. Elbows come out and press away. We're gonna do 16 together. It's a lot easier than on the ground because you have that elevated help. So down and up, 15. Good. Keep your core locked in. Vacuum, vacuum. You got it. Almost halfway there. Don't hit your head on your chair. <laughs> you got this. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one. Press it away and stretch it out. All right, so this is a seriously a perfect workout to do to help give you a little boost of energy throughout the day without getting crazy sweaty, but still get your heart rate up and burn those calories. We all have to take breaks now and then, so do this workout at least one time a day and modify it as you need to to make it work for you. Make sure you comment below so I know you're gonna do this at your desk workout with me. And if you like this little like life hack workout, tell me, because I definitely wanna make more of them. It was super fun. And don't forget, good things come to those who sweat. So I'll see you guys next week for another awesome workout. Bye.